Hello guys and welcome in a new video of the TTL3 channel. Today I will cover my top 3 commands to manipulate the configuration in Junos and I will demonstrate how they can help you save a lot of time in production environment or in your labs. Let's get started with command number 1, the show pipe display set. So I will take an example where I set up an interface and a default route on my device. So set interface fxp0, which is the out of band management interface, unit 0, family inet, address 192.168.1.1 slash 24. Then let's create a static route, set routing option, static route 0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0, next up 192.168.1.254. So let's type the command show to review our configuration. As you can see, your command syntax is now hierarchical, which is very nice, but can be a bit confusing if you are a beginner with Junos. So to make your life easier at the beginning, you can type the command show pi display set. That way you will find your original command in a flat text format. And this is also very handy if you want to copy paste your command line from one equipment to another one. The command number two is the replace button to replace a value by another one in your entire configuration. In this use case, my interface gig o slash o slash o is broken and I need to move the cable to gig o slash o slash 1 which is available to maintain the production. The problem is that gig o slash o slash o is referred at the interface level but also at the security zone level and finally at the USPF level. How do you achieve that and avoid typing a bunch of set and delete to recreate your config? Well, you can type a replace button gig o slash o slash o with gig o slash o slash 1 and Junos will pass your entire configuration file to replace the first string with the second one. Now if we type show again, we can see the new interface was set up at the different level. And my final command for today is the wildcard wrench to execute repetitive tasks in one single shot. For this command, let's use the following scenario where I have three interfaces with an incorrect MTU and I want to get rid of this value for all of them. You could of course do a bunch of manual delete, but there is a quicker way to do this. You can type a wildcard wrench, followed by the command we want to type, delete interface gig o slash o slash o, followed by the wildcard, interface going from 0 to 2 in my case, followed by the knob we want to get rid of, MTU 500. Job done. Again, this can be verified with a show command. And as you can see, this MTU knob has been removed for each interface. That's it for today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video and please share and subscribe if you liked it.